Hi, this is Ellen from Hello Muscle. Welcome to your Friday workout. This is going to be leg day. Now, sometimes it's good to take your workouts outside and you can work out when you're traveling. So all you're going to need today is a mat and a chair if you're inside your house and that's it. We're going to start. I'm going to hit the buzzer. We're going to get going. Okay, you're gonna warm up moving side to side. Now you're going to get ready for a chair squat. So you want your legs hip width and then you want to touch the chair each and every time. Making sure that your quads are controlling you all the way down and your booty, your glutes are controlling you all the way up. Place your foot up on a chair. If you're not comfortable doing this, just go into a static lunge. Now you're going to feel your booty, but you're also going to feel your quad of your leg that your foot is on the ground. So it's going to be the booty of your leg that is up on the chair and your quad on the leg that is on the ground. Now place your foot facing forward on the chair. You're going to lift your leg. This is going to be an abduction. You're working your hip, the soft tissue of your hip, but you're also working your gluteus medius, which is a support for your knee. Now it's time for a jump squat. I showed you the low impact version first, but we're gonna go into that jump squat, bringing your legs out. Make sure that you are using proper form and your knees are not going over your toes. Now it's time to work the other leg. So you're gonna put it up on the chair. The same thing, you're gonna make sure that 
you are your knees not over your toe and if you're not comfortable with that you can do a static lunge on the ground Now place your foot forward and you're going to lift your leg into an abduction, working the soft tissue around your hip area and also your gluteus medius, which supports the outside of your knee. It's time for your sumos. Making sure your knees are in alignment with your ankles and your knees are not going over your toes. You're working your inner thighs here along with your glutes or your booty. Time for your side lunges. Okay, out to the side. Make sure you're bending that leg that's moving and the leg that is staying static is straight. You're gonna feel this on your inside thigh and your outside booty. Here we go into the other leg. Now it's time to take your chair and turn it around. You're going to put your hands on top of the chair and you're going to go into a hold squat. Make sure your knees are right above your ankles 
and that your back is as straight as possible at an angle. You're gonna feel this in your thighs. Now take your chair and put it back facing forward. You're gonna step in front of it and you're going to go into your chair squats, making sure your bottom touches the chair each and every time. You're controlling it on the downward motion with your quads and the upward motion with your glutes. Crazy, crazy. Put your back leg up on the chair and you're going to go into your lunges. You can do it static on the ground or putting your foot up on the chair in order for you to really feel that quad that of the leg that's on the ground and your booty. Now you're putting your foot forward and getting ready for your abductions. Here we go. Getting ready here to do your sumos, making sure your knees are right above your ankles and you're really feeling your inner thigh and you're feeling your booty on the top. Getting ready for your other leg now. 
into our lunges or sometimes we call these split squats. If you're not comfortable, make sure you're doing your static lunges on the ground. Turning that leg forward and getting ready for abductions. Here we go. Here we go into our side lunges. You're gonna be stepping out to the side. And here we go. Getting ready for our other leg. And here we go. Now grab your chair and get ready, put your hands on top. We're gonna go back into our hold squat, making sure that you're keeping your torso as straight as you can, although there'll be a slight bend to it. Your knee is right above your ankles and your quad should start burning soon. Now it's time for you to get on the mat. We are going to hit booty time. 
the first move you're going to do is a straight leg with your foot flex, making sure you're activating your booty. Now we're going to get ready for our angle booty. So you're putting your foot on the opposite side of your other foot and coming up in an angle. There we go. Make sure to activate that booty. We're getting ready for the grapefruit here. So this is going to be a small range of motion with a slow tempo, making sure, or actually visualizing that you have a grapefruit in your booty and all the muscles are squeezing it. You should get to the point where your booty is shaking. Okay, we're getting ready for the other side. We're gonna start with the straight leg, full range of motion, foot flexed, and here you go. Getting ready for our angle booty here. Three, two, one, and hit it. Okay, here we are getting ready for the grapefruit. 
Hopefully your booty is shaking. If you are using really small movements and you're really activating that booty, there is no reason that you are not 100% completely in that booty right now. Okay, now you're going to lay down on your back and you're going to put your arms down by your side, you're up on your toes, and you're going to go into your bridges. You're really squeezing your booty, your glutes on the top of this move. Now you're going to get ready for a one leg crunch. So your hands are behind your head, you're going to lift one leg up and you're going to be bringing your ribs down to your hips. Time for your other leg now. How's your stomach feeling? Getting ready for a full range of motion crunch. This means you're going to be bringing your knees up as close to your forehead as possible and straightening them completely out. This is a real rib to hip move and your stomach should really be activated. Time to stretch now. 
So go ahead, you're gonna put your hands, you're gonna thread the needle through your leg, and go ahead and pull back on your leg. This should feel really good after the leg workout you just did. You're going to stretch to one leg and just hold. And then you're going to stretch to the middle. And then you're going to stretch to the side. to stand up and then go ahead and stretch forward Oh, great job. I wonder if you can even hear me over, I guess it's a lawnmower or something going over there. I am at the beautiful Paso Robles Inn in Paso Robles downtown. It's gorgeous here and this place is amazing. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Just make sure you go on to have a wonderfully blessed day and don't forget to drink your water.